welcome to this drawing tutorial. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Anna. And today I wanted to share some super easy brush pen flower doodles with you. We're only gonna use brush pens in this video, so you don't need anything else. And I'm gonna show you all the colors I'm using for each flower as we are going. Also, if you don't happen to own all the same colors I'm using, I think most of these flowers would work with many different color combinations, so just use whatever pens you have at home. I'm gonna use these Tombow dual brush pens in this video, but definitely any other brand of brush pens would work the exact same way, and you could also create all these flowers with watercolors if you happen to own some. But without further ado, let's just get started with the first flowers. And for this, we are gonna use some very neutral peachy tones. I started this by drawing these round petal shapes, and there will be five petals for these flowers. They can definitely overlap a little bit. And then I wanted the inner parts of the petals to be a little bit darker than the outsides. In general, brush pens look the darkest once you apply them, and then they will kind of lighten a little bit when they dry down, and also the colors will blend together a little bit. So they work pretty much the same way as watercolors, just the colors are a little bit more intense to work with, because you can't really lighten up the colors. But anyway, I used the little bit darker color to add even more darkness to the center of the flower. And then I used this much darker brown tone to add a small dot to the middle. After that, all we have left are the leaves. So I drew some very basic, little bit rounder leaf shapes around these two flowers. Anytime you want to add a little bit more intensity with the brush pens, you can just add another layer on top of the first one, and the color usually ends up looking a little bit darker. And if you want those lines to look pretty defined in the end, I recommend waiting a little bit so the first layers have time to dry, and then when you add the second layer, they won't blend together with the first one as much. But yeah, that's it for the first flowers, and now let's move on. The second one will be a very simple tulip flower, and I used some yellow brush pens for this. I think this is probably one of the easiest ones in the whole video, so if you're just starting out with your brush pens, I think this is a really good place to start. So I added the lighter yellow color first, and then I wanted to darken up the lower part of the flower a little bit as well as adding almost some shadow lines to the petals, so they're a little bit more defined. Then I used this a little bit lighter green shade for the leaves, and tulips have these very easy, long leaf shapes. And again, by adding a few lines on top of the first layers, you can add almost some shadow to the leaves as well. I think one of the hardest things with brush pens is to create these very thin lines. Mine also turned out a little bit shaky, so don't worry about it if you struggle a little bit. It's completely normal and will get better with some practice. But then let's move on to the third one. And for this, I wanted to use this light violet blue shade, which is one of my favorites. And here I drew these very small hanging flower shapes. So I started by drawing these almost teardrop shapes. And then we're gonna connect all of those with some very fine green stems. I also drew some small leaves and almost some grass thingy to the bottom. Because I think adding all of those kind of hides some of the shakiness of these lines. And I think it made this flower look a little bit prettier. And the fourth flower will be a very simple one. So this will be some sort of dandelion. I actually didn't even end up using the darkest yellow for this that I showed. I just started with the lighter yellow in the background and then added this one step darker and maybe a little bit more orangey yellow on top. 
So you can get away with pretty much any shape for the flower. Just draw many of these small lines towards the center. And then I'm gonna add some big leaves that have a little bit sharper edges with the same lighter green pen. Next we have another five petal flower. I started with the same very pale orangey pen and I tried to leave a little bit space between these petals so that the flower would have a little bit different shape as some of the other ones here. Again, I tried to add a little bit more definition here in the middle and then we are gonna draw some small rounder shape leaves. I decided to leave these small white spaces to the leaves, but that's completely optional. And then I added another round again to add some shadows to them. And then the last thing for this flower was to add this black center to the flowers. Again, completely optional. I think this flower would also work with nothing in the middle. But I guess the black center adds a little bit more of a poppy vibe for this flower. I think before adding the black, it's good to let the flower dry completely. Because otherwise the black pen might smudge into the orange color a little bit. So let the background completely dry before going in with the black pen. Then next we have one of my favorite flowers to draw. This is a lavender and it's also one of the easier ones for sure. So for this one I used a light lilac brush pen. And you can get away with pretty much any smudgy shapes as you can see here. And then if you want to take the flower a little bit further, you can add a little bit more definition to the lower parts of these flower groups with either the same pen or any darker blue or purple shade. The leaves of lavenders have this very long shade that is kind of round from the top and in the end I think this took me literally 30 seconds to draw so it's a very quick one. Next we have probably the most standard flower doodle shape. So I used a pink brush pen for this, but I think for this flower literally any color would work. So these petals are a little bit skinnier and longer. And then you could definitely choose some other option for the leaves and pretty much any color for the center part. I think these small types of leaves look really pretty with this flower shape. And then I finished this one off with some little fairy dust around the flower. So now we have three more flowers to go and the next one will be this very light small petal flower. So this one has five petals again and I tried my best to leave this small white circle to the center and I think it gives a very pretty airy look for these flowers. Again, I think you could choose many different shapes for the leaves for this one and I think this is also a very good flower shape to use for a flower bouquet drawing. So you can see how in the end I added this small ribbon to tie the bottom part together. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we have probably one of the most popular flowers to draw. So this is how you can draw a very simple brush pen rose. In my opinion, roses are one of the hardest flowers to draw if you really take your time and try to draw them more realistically. But these ones took me maybe 20 seconds and I think the outcome is actually surprisingly good. I think something like this could be a super cute small doodle for almost any type of bullet journal theme. And with roses, you can again choose pretty much any color you want and it will probably work. I think adding a second layer by darkening all the insides of the petals adds even more definition to the flower shape. And then I think these small, simple leaves around the flowers go very well with the roses. And then last but not least, we are going to draw a pansy flower. I used a little bit more colors for this one, but it's going to be super simple nevertheless. So first we're going to start with these four big round petals. And again, I think it's good to leave some white space to the middle so we can add the yellow color there later. You could also start with the yellow color if it makes it easier for you to imagine the flower shape around it. And then we are going to add some darkness to the inner parts of the petals again. So first I did it with the same lilac brush, but I wanted the inner parts of this to be even a little bit darker. So next I went in with this lighter blue shade. And then after drawing some spiky dark leaves, I added these small final lines to the middle with this pretty dark blue shade. But yeah, that's it for these 10 different brush pen flower doodles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this type of tutorial is very different from me. I usually do watercolors or gouache painting tutorials here on YouTube, but I thought something like this would be very helpful for different types of blood journal illustrations whenever you don't have that much time or you don't want to invest in many different tools. And if you want to see a little bit more traditional tutorial from me this month, I post an extra tutorial every month on my Patreon. If this was your first time around here and you want to stay tuned for more, definitely consider subscribing. But other than that, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And see you in my next one. Bye bye.